we're in a, an industry of flux. It continually changes and we're continually learning new things. And just like with these millimeter waves, we're learning what devices transmit them, how to measure them and so on. Here's a quick demonstration of a millimeter wave in action, actually measuring a vehicle. So it's an RF vehicle scan, and in this case, it's a 2020 Lincoln Nautilus SUV, and I will just go ahead and show you what we found here. Hi, this is Rob at Safe Living Technologies. Today, we're gonna to take our millimeter wave meter into the field and do some testing on vehicles. Today's vehicle is a 2020 Lincoln Nautilus. It's a higher end vehicle that has a lot of the bells and whistles, and we're gonna use the millimeter wave meter to see what type of radio frequency waves are coming off this vehicle. So I'm going to turn on the meter. Um, I'm going to use the stub antenna and I'm going to turn the volume up. Car is currently powered off and you can hear that hissing noise right now. And the value is less than five microwatts per square meter. So that basically means there's no signal present at this point in time. So what we're going to do is just, we're going to take a loop around the vehicle just to make sure that uh, nothing is emitting when the vehicle's off and our background levels are fairly quiet. So we just went down the driver's side, now we're coming around the back bumper. Um, approaching the passenger side. And moving up to the front of the car. Things are still quiet. I would expect to hear sounds coming off of this as well if we're getting digital pulses coming off the car. Um, now we're at the front bumper, we're moving around the front of the vehicle, and it seems to be quiet. There does not seem to be any emissions coming from this vehicle as it's turned off. So the next step will be to turn on the vehicle and we'll repeat this measurement process. All right, so um, we're repeating the process with the car turned on. So the automobile is idling, it's in park. So let's go around the vehicle and see what the readings are. See if we can detect any RF in the millimeter wave range coming off this vehicle. So we're now we're moving down the driver's side, going towards the back of the vehicle. Still looks pretty stable. I actually just picked up a reading now, so I'm gonna turn up the volume here so we can hear it as well. And it seems like right around the back bumper here, you can probably see one of the sensors down here as well. This is kind of where we're getting our highest readings, right in this general area. So definitely emissions coming out of this part of the bumper. This is the driver's side bumper, rear bumper. And we'll go towards the middle of the tailgate. Um, really nothing there. I'm gonna hit the reset button clear the values and then go over to the passenger side bumper and we can see the same emissions coming off the passenger side bumper in this location too. So now we're moving, I'm clearing the peak and I'm moving around to the side of the vehicle and once we get to the back passenger door it seems to go away so it seems to be transmitting out of that rear bumper on the left and right hand side and that makes sense because it's a blind spot sensor that's where your blind spot is and that is uh, um, what it's supposed to do so i'm um, just making a rounds to the front of the vehicle it's still running and we don't see any emissions coming off the front at this point